someone else's side copied. <laughs> there seems to be a new iteration in the next PS5 coming in the way of a new model of the same PS5 we may know right now. And it's known as the D chassis internally, and it isn't an extreme departure for what we know of the PS5 currently, but there is one huge difference. It seems they're taking a modular approach to the latest model featuring a detachable hard drive. According to several sources telling Inside Gaming, or sorry, Insider Gaming, there will be a new model of the PS5, but it will sport a detachable disk drive. The drive will attach to the console via a USB-C cable on the back of the console. The sources did, oh, excuse me, the sources did say the drive doesn't look like it's attached, but it looks like the original model does now. But we will have to wait and see if that is the case. A uh, pretty big deal here. If if they're actually going with this approach, uh, I'm assuming they're trying to save as much money as possible on these systems because they're probably eating it really hard. But also, I am a bit wary on if it looking modular or not, because that does not sound attractive. If it looks exactly what the PS5 model looks like right now, but and there's literally just a modular thing, I can't imagine that looking great in an already kind of ugly looking system. But we will have to wait and see as just a cable connecting to a USB-C in the back of the console is eh. And also, I'm not loving that they have to cut yet another thing of the PlayStation 5 if, when they're upping how much it costs so why are you having to break it down further i thought that was the whole point very confusing a little bit all around but again this is a rumor and some speculation so we don't even know if it's fully true or not i mean i'll say real quick i actually like that this thing is real i, I like the idea of modularity is what i want more than like because if you buy a digital playstation 5 right now you're locked into it you can add a new drive or whatever but you can never have a disk drive in that thing and that's final um, having this modularity lets you have that flexibility of yes, PlayStation Store is great. They have sales sometimes, but like if you're on GameFly, you're getting you're getting these games for absurd prices. I think Seafood is like eighteen dollars right now, and yep. you're not getting that on PSN for at least another two years. So, I, I think people who want that modularity, who want that expanded ability of features to be able to upgrade to a disc drive later, is great. I I, I honestly hope that whatever version that is that's coming replaces the digital version that people can have that choice rather than getting locked into a choice because they didn't have the extra 100 when they had to buy the console. So so I, I will quickly go back on what I said. I should have probably been more clear. I don't mind that this exists, but I hate if, if this is the case, not fully certain if it is or not, but if the $500 console that you're buying is just a digital with a, a detachable uh, USB-C drive in it, that is a big turnoff for me. I would I actually love that this thing exists just in theory as like an option. And hey, you know, you know, we get that some people had to buy digitals because some people, I mean, frankly, didn't have a choice when it launched. They were like, you know, maybe you went to GameStop or Walmart and they're like, oh, we have our digitals. You had to buy it. Now you're like stuck on digital things. I doubt they care that much, but maybe, maybe that is why they're doing it, because they would they, they want you to buy digitally. They don't want you to buy physical. But if that is the case, yeah, I could. That, that's awesome. But if the five hundred dollar console is literally just the digital with a detachable hard drive, or sorry, disk drive. That sounds terrible. But I do like that this exists. Hmm. Fair enough. And also, again, they raised the fucking price of this thing, so like, why are, why are we having to cut costs more? I don't, know. I don't even know if it's a cost-cutting thing. I think it might just be like a giving consumers choice, because they didn't give them no choice with the price. So That's true. Let's throw that, them a bone somewhere. That's true, but again... I, I think uh, I will definitely be on your side if the 500 console is not just a detachable disk drive. Everything I will say pre pretty much void if it just yeah. remains how it is. But if it is, I won't, I'm not going to like that very much. Understandable. It seems she did not survive the layoff as Indiana Froskerin Black, sorry if I butchered that, has been uh, bought out of the remainder of her contract and she has been let go from G4 following massive layoffs seen at the 